Welcome to Seashorn Vlog and we're here in London for the weekend to sample a bit of street food. We are. We're having a couple of days off from our healthy From our eating. diet and we've come here to have, just be gluttonous and have all of the good food and good drinks. You might be gluttonous. <laughs> yes. So we're starting at Camden Lock and Camden Market and we're going to have a look around here, sample some of this food before we head elsewhere in London to try some more. But sure. should we head in here first? Yes. Yes, I've seen lots of good stuff on YouTube and you're, you're going to see some good stuff now as well. The smells are already delicious. <laughs> yes, all the stalls are just opening, the rain's just stopping. Perfect, let's yep. get some breakfast, lunch. lunch. You've had breakfast, I've had nothing yet. <laughs> I can eat more. We've come over to the main market for the first bit of food. Oh, and there's a load of pods in here where you can sit in. They keep you dry, Caroline. Oh, definitely keep us dry. <laughs> Look at that horse. Those hot dogs over there have got some good, Sean. Have you seen how big they are? Do you want to try it, Sean? Oh. I'm vegetarian, he's, he's not. Let's have a try. Do you want to try? He wants me to try his girthy sausage. <laughs> nice. So keep giving me bits to try. I don't need to buy anything. I think that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely does. We still haven't decided what we want because the stalls are just opening and all the food looks good and the samples I've had so far tasted really good. But I don't think I want Chinese food. So we've started off with some vegetarian Indian food, a, talk, a tikka dal, vegetable curry, and then we've added on some pickled onions and some chili with a naan bread. We didn't want the rice. I'm going to try it first, but this is mainly for Caroline because I'm going to go for a cheesy naan. Anyway, let's try the. Got a little bit of spice to that. Is that not because you put the, um, Thanks, bye. the sauce on? Oh, the onions are lovely. Oh, you're gonna love the chili. Am I? Yeah. All right, let's try this bit of veggie curry collie. It's frozen veg. All right, right. I'm not gonna like frozen it. Frozen watery veg. It's still got a nice flavor, but most of the flavors coming from the chickpeas and the chili. The curry, it's just watery veg, really, with, with a bit of flavor. It's fine. We paid 14 pounds for this and, um, a, a, and a Coke Zero. We've got a naan bread instead of rice. I wouldn't get it again. You can try it though, Caroline. Okay. Yeah, it's a piece nice. You'll like that chilli. Mmm, chilli's nice. Yeah. I see what you mean. I've just took a big, big piece of uh, coriander, which I love, it's really fresh. Would you get it again? I'd get the chickpeas, but I wouldn't get the, the veg. So after a few mouthfuls of it, it's not what I was really expecting. And I have to say, it's not the best, the most flavoursome thing about it has been the chilies and the coriander, which was should, really fresh. Should we find something better? Yep. How good does this look? Tandoori chicken, spicy. Look at that. 
Oh, it was very good though, wasn't he? Because he was Sean was going to get the vegetarian one to share with me to try, but yeah. he said that they cooked them right beside each other, which was a lot of people don't say it there. So I thought that was really respectful. Wow, that's a lot of cheese. It's dripping. Wow, cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why this is a recommended stall. That's really tasty and really cheesy. Mm. Shame you can't have any, babe. Grabbed a beer, a seven-pound lager from the stall. One, which one is it? It's from Camden Brewery, I think. Is it? The Camden Town Lager. Nice. Passable. Passable. Sean just got They do one. like mulled I wine and mulled cider when it's Christmas time. Ooh. I didn't get one though. I shall try. Have you seen these donuts, Caroline? Is that actually wow. a donut, is it? Is it a cronut? I think they're cronuts on the bottom, Sean, are they? I don't know what they are, but they look amazing. I've picked up a king donut. This has got some weight to it. Caramel with custard, but there's a, there's a lot of weight in this. Believe it or not, we've been on diets for weeks, and Sean Whoa. has lost nearly a stone. But he's having a day off mm. and getting these steps in. I'm going in for some custard. Your body won't know what's in it with all this food. Oh. That is huge. I can only eat half of this, I think. That's a big donut. It's, again, it's another girthy it's bit of food. It's a ring donut as well. <laughs> it's a ring donut. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to eat some of this, put, uh, keep half for later. We've now come over to Camden Market itself, because this is where the funky fries are. This is where funky fries are. And have you seen that? Greetings, Earth things. We're in a queue for funky chips and it's uh, going to be a 15 minute wait. We went for the spicy one, wasn't Sean? Spicy masala. And you get some garlic for the, if you could, if I had smell a vision, the smells in here are amazing. Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Hello, you got a first trip in England! I love you got a first trip in England! It's cheesy! It's spicy! Yeah, it's spicy! It's cheesy! Saucy, saucy! they look smell great they smell really nice and he's made it extra spicy because i told him i liked it spicy. have a taste this is a small size this as well nine pounds sixty for a small size this is a small box wow. it's quite a lot of chips it's also expensive nine pounds sixty for chips mm -hmm. but are they, is, does it taste good yeah yeah get them in your car nom 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 let's see what your verdict is They are saucy chips. Yeah, very saucy. Do you see what I mean about the flavour though? And the proper chip. Hot, spicy, saucy, garlicky, chip like masala-y, chilli, mayonnaise-y type thing. Vinegary of, from the jalapenos. Full of herbs. Full of herbs and cheese. And, and the, it, the cheese is all melted in. But also, have you noticed can, the, the actual chips are real chips? They're not like out Oh, they're not fries, they're proper chips. They're properly cooked. Oh, bit of spice just in my throat there. Proper chips, not not fries. I can see why the why you're paying nine pounds sixty. That's still a lot for chips, and it was a fifteen minute queue, and that queue can go up to an hour. But it's worth queuing for to have at least once in your life. Funky. Well, we've just finished those chips. There was far too many. Far too many. Far too many. Really delicious though. Next time we should, if we come back, we'll have them first. We didn't finish them though. No, we didn't because there was just far too we many. We left quite a few. Really, half, really probably tasty. Half a box. Yeah, Re a five pound worth. Really, really tasty, spicy, saucy, just delicious. Uh, we're now gonna head in, head more into the centre of London and look for some more food a little bit later on.
of Camden Market for our first visit. Really good, we'll definitely be back here. We've headed over to Common Garden and we're going for some cocktails and some snacks at Banana Tree. Well, cocktails for me, snacks for you. Why not? We are starting with two for one cocktails. It's two for one all day. I'm going for a Long Island and Caroline's going for a mojito. Mojito. You're not getting any food though. No, I'm still I'm full still up a little bit I ate earlier on, yeah. But I'm getting some food, of course. I'm getting the tapas lunch because it's still on 12 for five. And I'm going for the Penang because it'll taste stuff for later on this year. I've got my two Long Islands. <laughs> Thirsty? Very tasty and tangy. My, my mojitos. I love them and then I might have uh, a zombie or something. Oh, you really can't, you really can in these few days. Look at that. Prawn crackers, jasmine rice, some slaw, some chili dip, peanut dip, sweet corn fritters, two chicken satties for that peanut dip and beef rendang. Smashing. Huh? Okay. Nice fresh Asian, Asian bowl. I don't need that though. Oh, that's a nice bit of coriander there. Yeah. What is that? This is the beef rendang. Beef rendang. Big juicy bit of beef, yeah. Mm. Hot? <laughs> It's super tasty. Is that coconut rice or just normal rice? Let's try this jasmine rice. Jasmine. Yeah. Sweet corn for that. In the. You like sweet corn as well. In the chili dip. Mm. Very crunchy. It sounds in it. Mm. Lots of veggies in there. Not a lot of sweet corn for a sweet corn dip, to be fair. Okay, and the last thing is this delicious looking chicken skewer. Chicken satay. Yeah, it's a skewer and... Oh dear. I went down the wrong way. The spice on the chili. It's a chicken skewer until I had the peanut sauce. Gonna have lots of these when we go to Asia later this year. It's alright. Nicely grilled, the peanut sauce is nice. Jesus! <laughs> How quick? Were you thirsty? Yes. Well, my food was delicious. Oh, you've left some. But, oh, that's pretty. Call my pirate cocktail. We're finished at the rooftop bar. We're going to catch a show. So no more food unless Caroline finds something she likes on the way. Maybe a drink though. We're going to see the Mind Mangler and then we'll have another drink after that before we wake up tomorrow and get more food in London. What are you eating? It's a mess on my lip. It is, yeah. <laughs> Any good? Warm pastel de nada. Uh, I, I still think British egg custards are best. I thought the rest of it was mine. It is. Is that good? I, I need a, can I get a bite? What did you get? He made us go into this Japanese patisserie. Just to have a look. But and I got buy anything. a vegetarian curry bun for okay. you to try. And a posh souffle cake, yeah. souffle cheesecake which is vegetarian. The white chocolate sesame one was not. Ah. That's like a sugar caramel on the top. Yeah. But you want to try the curry curry puff first. 
Isn't this something to get in Singapore? Could Singapore have a version of this as well? Yeah, in Malaysia. But this is a Japanese curry puff, vegetarian. So far, it's just bun. Just bun. Okay. Get deeper to the curry. Bun's quite dry. Go deep. Oh. How's your curry puff? That's actually really nice. Really nice. Nice but curry flavour. Is it katsu curry? Looks like katsu. Let's have a look. No, it's not katsu. No? But the bun at first is a bit thick, so it's quite dry. Do you want to try? I'll have a try in a moment, yeah. Looks nice. Do you want to try the cheesecake? A souffle cheesecake is what you've got what now to try. What is on the top of it? I think it's just crispy, like creme brulee. It looks style orange. Sugar. It looks like orange or something. I know, I thought it was mango, but I think it's just like a creme brulee type thing. It's not. It's, um, it's fruit. Right, but is it nice? Not for me. Your face isn't saying it's nice. No, it's not for me. Okay, I'll try it. I ain't, I'm not keen it's on It's like a mango sauce. or a yuzu. It's not yuzu, because that would be green, right? Green or yellow, right? I'm, That's not, I'm not keen on whatever it is. But the, the cheesecake itself is really soft and fluffy. Actually, after three spoon, two or three spoonfuls, it gives you a sour, really sour taste. No. I prefer the bun. Trying the Japanese stuff. It smells like Indian curry. It's not what you think it's going to be, but it's so nice. It's really, really nice. There's peas, carrot, I think sweet potato. Yeah. It tastes like an Indian curry. But there is that hint of katsu in there. Do you think? Nice. No, I didn't think it tastes The bun like is really soft. But at really first, soft. the end bit was really thick, which is what made me choke. And we're here for the Mind Mangler. Almost couldn't get the words. You didn't get the words on top, it's Mind Mangler. We'll tell you what it's like once we're finished. Well, it's now the next morning, and before we go into the Shoom for some more food for breakfast, the theatre show last night, I really enjoyed the Mind Mangler. It, it was good. Um, but like I said last night, I don't think it was as good as the other ones that I've seen, but still good. He's a clever actor. Still a really good uh, mischief production and if you've never seen any of this play that goes wrong the egg pan goes wrong grown-ups magic goes wrong etc you, you need to go and see them because naughty. they're a really good group to put on shows they are a bit naughty at times but the kids were getting into it more than the adults really funny really funny but anyway breakfast and the shoom <laughs> went for a vegan sausage naan. How good? Right. You're making a right mess? Yep, the egg fell out. Remember, it's a runny egg, so be careful. Nice. Full of flavour. I have a feeling yours will be more flavoursome than mine. There's loads of flavour in there. The egg is beautiful. The bacon is really crispy and smoked and delicious. And the sauce is good. I'm waiting for some chilli chutney. The beans are nice, but, um, the beans I are lovely. but I expect them to be a bit more spicy with the bean masala. But It's pretty. We've asked for some chili salts. <laughs> I'd have to come here again and have this. Okay. So far, anyway. Mine, mine, I had a, a couple more bites of mine. It's got flavour in it, but I was expecting a lot more flavour. 
that breakfast was really, really delicious, especially when this was added. But we've just finished our breakfast in Dushum, somewhere I will definitely go back to. Definitely. Um, I did forget Get to say... Get the chilli chutney sauce. What did you say it was called when you went and had a look at them? It's, it was like chilli and garlic, really, really nice. There was a few different ones you said as well, wasn't there? Six pound eighty a jar, wasn't it? I forgot to say about my sausages, they're made out of fermented vegetables. Um, the guy said about 32, so he couldn't name what was in them, but we think he was jesting with that one. Yeah, and my chocolate chai was nice, my first time trying chai, I'll, I'll have that again, I think. I tried it, I don't like I don't like tea and I don't like milk, yeah. so it wasn't the best for me, but I did try it. We need to check out of the hotel, we've been staying in the Amano, we showed you the rooftop bar, but we need to check out and then have a wander around London before we get more food, I guess. It's a foodie tour of I London. I couldn't eat my food, it was just far too filling for me, but we knew that was going to happen, it always yeah. does. Let's uh, see a couple of sites before we get our last bit of food before we head to the airport to fly home. Because we flew down from Newcastle. We did. We've just been wandering through Chinatown and up to Soho and we've come across the Berwick Street Market that we didn't know was here. The food smells good that they're starting to cook. Yeah, it does. So many different uh, delicacies. Might have to get something when they're open. We've come over to Seven Dials Market for lunch instead of that other market that we went past before. Yeah, because we said we were originally going to come here yesterday but plans changed so I said we definitely need to come today because I then found out Neil's Yard was here and I really wanted to see what Neil's Yard's like. So this will be our final bit of food. Starting with a beer, I went for a bandit pale. Caroline's gone for a cider. It's a, it's a cider. It's also very loud in here, but there's lots of food choice. So we're gonna have a sip while we decide what we want to eat. So much choice. Think you want pizza? Maybe. There's also cheese beignet upstairs, so I've never had a beignet before. Beignet. Beignet. How do you say it? browns with frazzles and onions and all sorts delicious we have just finished our lunch in seven dials we went to three different stalls we started off with some gyozas which were fairly poor to be fair. yeah they were the worst gyozas i've ever had then you had a slice of pizza i did which was floppy it was really floppy um it just had been rushed it wasn't fully cooked properly but it was tasty and, and then the best thing, in. the best thing was the hash brown box, which I had. It was hash browns topped with jalapeno ketchup, frazzles, parmesan, baby coriander, and crispy onions, and they were really good. Yeah. Couldn't really talk down there. It was very, not, it was very loud really, really for music. Nice yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a wonder now, and then we'll wrap up this food tour of London. The hash, ask me what. the hash brown ones that obviously have the, the pre-made ideas, nope. and then you, no, they don't. So no, you, you can just make choose whatever you want. want. Yeah. Okay. And how much does that cost? Nine pound it cost me. Eight pound. I've got two extra toppings though, so it would have been eight pound otherwise. That's not so bad then, really, because it's quite big. We are ending our weekend in London at the Hard Rock Cafe for Coffee. a cocktail. Mm. We've had some really good food this weekend. Yeah, and a few naff things too. Saw a few sights, a re saw a nice show. It did, it was good fun. Had a good time with you, babe. So what has been your favourite food that you've had? Oh, oh! I don't know. There's been lots of good stuff. I do know what the two worst things are: the gyozas and that Indian food. I agree. The cheesy naan. I think that might be my favourite. Cheesy naan. Yeah, cheesy naan. The Camden Market. What would you say my favourite's been? I don't know. But there's so much choice down here in London. Those are just a few of the ones that we picked. Far too much is confusing. Yeah, so much choice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll be back soon with another one. Keep making memories. Too late.